Okay, so I got about a Two feet of wire, maybe, maybe a little more than two feet. And then here's the stone. And what I do is, um, let's see, what do I do? I do this. I make a loop. I figure out which way I want it to go around the rock. And then do a crisscross like that. And then I twist it so I can go the other direction. Underneath the stone, this is the bottom of the stone. And then I bring both ends up and around and twist it again at the top. And if you're wondering if it'll stay in there, it will. And you can um, also put a little dab of E6000 glue on the bottom where it won't be seen and the stone will stay put. Now, I don't know what kind of ring you're trying to make, but I mean, this is a craft ring, so. That's what the top looks like once I get it up there. And that's the bottom. And then, I actually made the top too tall. I'm gonna untwist, I think. No, I can't. Okay, so that's gonna be that way. My top is too tall. See that? You can make yours tighter. That's the bottom anyway. Huh. Where's the top of the stone? Okay, that was the bottom, excuse me. And the bottom has to be more flush, so I'm gonna take that little turn out and try to fix it and just go the other direction. There, yeah, that's better. Okay, so now instead of having it all the way twisted, I just have it going a different direction so I can go around my finger. And so then I take it around my finger. To size it. Or you can use a ring sizer, which I have and I don't know where it is. So I'm going to just do it on my finger. All the way, I think. That's going to be tighter. I'm making the bottom tighter. I did put another turn in there, another twist. Alright, so you go around your finger a few times on either side of the stone. So you have at least three or more, which I'm going to do more, um, uh, layers or rows of wire. There, I'm going to do more than three. I'll show you what it looks like. If I can get it off. I don't do it too tight when you do it. Okay. Alright, so then it's like this. Okay, and we're going to cut these ends. That there was too much. And then we're going to uh, wrap it around the sides. Okay. And then 
so I'm going to cut it right about there. And I'm going to wrap this piece around it. And that is actually going to change the ring size. I forgot about that part. So I'm going to actually try to stretch this. If I find my little tool. Huh. Oh, here it is. So I have this little tool that was in my boyfriend's toolbox. I don't know what it really is, but um, it helps make things circles. Okay. So there's not that much there. That's okay. That is okay. Let's see if I can bring more of this over. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Gotta cut that other side. This is a better example. Go under and around. The other side was too short because I cut too much off. I just fly by the seat of my pants. I don't have any rhyme or reason to much of what I do. I just kind of figure it out and do it. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Now, yours will be much neater. Just you take more time with it. But this is the basic idea. And you can even go across again to make it more stable. Instead of having just one crossover, you could do two. But I'm going to put a little glue on the bottom. And it'll be good to go. I might tweak the wires a bit and make them look better. And I made it too small. It doesn't fit me. <laughs> so, it'll, it'll go in, in a store somewhere when I get it all fixed up. Good luck. Oh, and that's 20 gauge wire. 